don't want to die. Wait, I can hear her speaking. I think she's still alive. She is still alive, but her pulse is weak. My chest is getting very sore. Marceline. Come on, Marceline. We can't lose you that easily. If we don't save her life, she'll die. We'll have to keep on trying. So, any changes? No, nothing. She's still in VF and we're worried that we would lose her. Why aren't the doctors doing anything? Why aren't they saving my wife's life? Look, that's exactly what they're doing. So please remain patient. Alright, clear. Nothing's happening. She's in VF once more. We need to try again one more time. Clear. Wait, I think we got a rhythm. Oh, thank God. All right, her condition is beginning to stabilize a bit, so we did it. Well work, team. Have they finished rebuilding most buildings yet? They are still rebuilding one of the churches that were damaged, but it's almost done. All right, listen. We need to continue talking about the baby. Oh, great. Not this again. Heather, you better listen to me, and don't you dare ignore every word I say. If you're at work, I can look after your child, no matter how much you don't agree with me over it. The only person that needs to look after my baby is Guy. He can always look after the baby if he's on a break. But it doesn't matter who's the father. It does matter, you idiot. Heather. Hey, 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 what's going on? Heather is at it again with the whole baby thing again. Look. My mom is obsessed with nothing but trying to raise my child, and she doesn't know for a fact that only Guy can manage that. Heather, look, as Linda said, it doesn't matter who's the father. Oh, wow, really? Are you seriously backing my mom over this? Heather, let's just stop with this argument. Oh. No. I have had enough of you treating me like a little kid when I know for a fact that I can do whatever I want, and I can't stand any more of this bullcrap. I am moving out of this house, tomorrow. What? What? You can't possibly mean that. Well, sorry, I do. As long as you don't respect my authority, I am going to stay with Guy and raise the child myself when it's born. Heather, please, don't do this. You can't leave. I can. I can and I'm gonna live with Guy until you stop defying me. I'm not defying you, Heather. I'm only trying to help. Liar. Girls, stop it. Heather, let's just talk about this, okay? I'm the child's stepmother, and you have to respect. Shut up! What do you want? How did you manage to find me? Hello, Dennis. I'm Jeffrey Manning from the Castle Bush Police Department. I would like to speak to you in connection with the murder of Dom Rainer. Are you arresting me, right? Is this what you're doing to me? All right, listen, I did not kill Donna. I was only pretending that somebody else was responsible, and I forbid you to charge me with- All right, that's enough. You're coming with me to the police station. So Dennis, you have apparently held Donna captive in a barn and stabbed her to death. Is this true? Absolutely not. I was not responsible for Donna's murder. There's this guy called James Coldwell, and he claimed he was the one that killed Donna. But there is no such evidence to prove that he was the one who killed Donna, so this means you're the prime suspect of the crime. What? What? Do you really want me to get locked up in prison, huh? Is this what you want to do to me? We just want to ask you a single question, Dennis. Are you the one who is responsible for killing Donna? All right. Yes, I admit it. I have in fact killed Donna. This woman was an absolute manipulator, so that's why I had to kill her. In that case, Dennis, we are placing you under arrest over the murder of Don Rain. The date of your court appearance will be announced in the coming days, and you have to stay in prison until the trial starts. 
Yesterday, an earthquake has struck downtown Castlebush. As of right now, two people are killed and four others are injured, one of them seriously. A six-year-old girl was exploring the forest with her family and when the earthquake struck, she was declared missing. The earthquake was so powerful that it damaged many nearby buildings, and it was even felt in its surrounding areas. If you witness the eight-year-old girl's disappearance, make sure to call the Castle Bush Police Department. Thank you. So? How's Sally? It's the same as yesterday. She still can't feel her legs and it is certain that she could be paralyzed. But is there hope that Sally could walk again? We hope so. We talked to a doctor on the phone who was responsible for developing medicine for Donnie and she said that we can use the same medicine on Sally so hopefully X could recover in a matter of days. That's good news. But has Sally's condition improved yet? Well not yet, but if we use the medicine on Sally, we'll have to wait and see what it can do. Hi. How are you guys doing? We're fine, I guess. We went to see Marcelina at the hospital last night, but she suffered a cardiac arrest. But did the doctors manage to save her life? Yes, they also said that her condition is improving a bit, so we'll hope Marceline could be discharged soon. That's good. But what about you? Are you doing all right? No, not really. I couldn't sleep all night because Charlie wouldn't stop crying, and it only took me five minutes to calm him down. Fred and I had an argument because Fred left Charlie behind in the house when the earthquake began. Bubblegum, listen, you can't blame your husband because of Charlie. At least it was only fortunate that your son wasn't hurt. I know, but Fred shouldn't have left my son in my house in the first place. He could have died. We'll talk more about this later, but in the meantime, would you like something to eat? Yeah, I guess. I would like some bacon pancakes please. Coming right up. What are you doing? I'm moving out of this house, and I will not move back there until you respect the fact that Guy can raise the child. Heather, please. You can't just move out because of the baby. It's for your own good mom. I can't stand all of this nonsense, and I'm packing my things and leaving here. Look, can we at least just talk about this? There is nothing to talk about. I don't care if you want to raise my child too because it's not yours. Guy is the father and that's the truth. I'm leaving. Heather, stop. Get out of my way. You can't stop me from leaving here. Heather, please don't go, okay? You're my only daughter and you can't leave us. All I wanted to say is, I'm sorry. For what? What are you sorry for? I want to say sorry about the baby, that's all. I didn't even know Guy's the father because I haven't talked to him about it yet, and I still have the right to be the stepmother. Please Heather, I just don't want you to go. She's right Heather, please don't go. We can talk about this and sort it out. Too late. I don't want to talk to you anymore, and I'm not caring about all the bullcrap you gave to me. I'm leaving. Goodbye. Heather, you can't do this. Come back. Please. Too late. She's gone. We have to sort things out somehow. <laughs> Hi, Geraint. It's been a pretty difficult night for you, hasn't it? Yeah. It is. I've been feeling sad all night because of Sally. I love her so much that I don't want to lose her. Look, she'll be okay. What do you mean she'll be okay? Don't you understand that Sally is paralyzed? Geraint, will you please just calm down? We are trying everything we could to make Sally feel better. But what about her legs? How are you going to manage to make her walk again? Look, I don't know. I haven't told Owen about it yet. You just have to calm down and be patient. Are you guys all right in here? Everything's not all right. Sally is paralyzed and she is going to be in a wheelchair for a long time. Stop it. All right, Natasha and I have to go. We'll let you know how Sally is doing. Guys, there is something I need to tell you. It's about Dennis. And? Did the police manage to arrest him? Yes. The police said Dennis was hiding in your home drive. You know, 
The place where I saw Dennis kidnapping Donna. So that's where Dennis was hiding the whole time. In addition, the police also said that Dennis is due to appear in court soon, and I also spoke to a counselor and she said that if Dennis goes to jail, she'll talk to him and help him overcome his anger problems. But are you sure if this is going to work? I hope so. Dennis really needs to get rid of his anger problems for good, and this time I mean it. But what about Andrew? How is he? He has just been discharged, and he's currently waiting to see what happened to Dennis. I'll go to Andrew's house later and tell him about Dennis's anger problems. We don't know what Dennis's fate will be like, but we'll just have to wait and see. Hello, Bimo. Are you there? Oh my god! Surprise! You came just about time, Jake. What are you doing here? How did you get to my house? I know I hate to scare you, but I think it's about time for us to have a chat. Do you remember this woman called Alice Scott? Yes, of course I do. She was the woman that blackmailed me, but I haven't heard of her since she left. Well, the reason why I want to talk to you is that Alice is dead. What? What? You killed her, right? Why do you have to ask me that question anyway? I mean, of course I killed her. This woman is a traitor, and she got exactly what she deserves. At least, Alice deserved to die for manipulating my life. And I don't have to be scared of that evil woman anymore. Oh yeah, I also have to admit that you and me, Mo, could be the next people to die. What are you talking about? Are you threatening me? You just can't get away from me, can you? I've known you long before I intruded your house, and now I'm going to get my hands on you. You'll see what I'm going to do with you and Vimo soon.